Hello, welcome back to a new video. Today we're just gonna have a very chill fucking video of just really cool times, man. I feel great. I just I just wanna talk about a little bit a little bit of the shits. Cause that's all we gotta that's all we gotta do. So um I have been streaming Dark Souls, and I've been having a lot of internet issues, like really, really bad internet issues, like scarily bad internet issues, like the inter kind of internet issues you just don't want to deal with, but you gotta. Now, I started off um, a couple days ago on my live stream while I was streaming. I suddenly, well, it started off, I guess, a couple days before that when my upload was kind of just shitting, but I didn't believe that it was anything bad. I just kind of left it. And um, it wasn't until I started streaming and got halfway through that the stream crashed and I was like, damn, I should call my internet service provider. So I do that and they're like, um, we, we don't know why that's happening, why your, your upload is going so shit, but um, deal with it. We'll, we'll come in um, on, on Friday and we'll just, we'll fix it for you that day. Cause you don't care about streaming at all, right? Um, you don't care about any of that shit that's important to you. You don't care about uploading videos to you. That's dumb. So that ended up happening, and it was kind of unfortunate. But uh, I, it's still happening to this time, and I'm just kind of like, oh, okay. So I'll just. Focus down on my recording, I guess. M may as well. But then I realized that I have to start a course of um, a whole bunch of fucking job stuff. Because I, I gotta get a job soon, and in doing so, I need to start doing job training. Which I am. It has begun, and it's going pretty well so far, I think. But it's definitely taking a little bit of a toll on me, and I am fucking exhausted right now and this is gonna be constant until at least the end of next Friday and after next Friday's over I have a 10 week placement at somewhere and I'll have to get paid I'll get paid for that in full and everything but in turn it also means that hey I'm gonna have to deal with a lot of bullshit soon involving a bunch of the the shits and a lot of the the job stuff, and it's gonna be so fucking stressful. Cause now I'm out of school, right? Cause school, fucking, I dropped out and shit. So it's just kind of existing. And in doing so, existing is a thing that ends up happening. Which is fine. It's good. It's it's all good. But yeah, so I'm gonna have to be dealing with a lot of job stuff soon. So videos may be going a little bit weird soon because as much as I, I now have my curfew like in terms of being home at 12 instead of being whatever it was before I don't remember what it was before but it, it's now extended and I'm like damn okay so you expect me to be out and getting a job for this late night then I was like yeah she, she goes shit just happens and I'm like damn okay I'll take that I guess and so on and so on. So yeah. I'm drained. And I'm going to be drained. But maybe it's a little bit calmer like this. Maybe it's a little bit better like this. Who knows. Some may say it's better. Some may say it's worse. And so on, etc. Infinitely into tomorrow. Um, Boku no Hero Academia. The, uh, the episode for this week. It was fucking beautiful, man. They did so much justice to that first chapter. They put one chapter in two episodes, and I actually felt something in the second episode, which is... That's the accomplishment of a good show, man. If, if the show can get you to feel something in the second episode, you already know it's going to be good. It can't go downhill from there. Like, for example, in Steins Gate, you would always felt something for the, for, for the characters immediately. Because you're like, damn, that shit is realistic. If I saw a dead body, I'd be like, damn, no, I don't want that shit. And run away. And then that's just kind of what happens, and it's really good. 
Um, I've kind of dropped everything else this season, honestly. Because nothing really interests me. 100 didn't interest me. Uh, what was it? On Oneji? Oneji? Well, I think that's interesting in terms of what's currently going on and everything. Honestly, it's Sakamoto. And Sakamoto's pretty meh. It's just, yo, I'm a cool guy. Okay. Um, how do you solve things that are happening to you? I be cool. And then that that's just how it goes. That's just without a fucking doubt. Which I guess is fine. It's understandable, respectable, even. But yeah. It's, it just happened. It, it just fucking happened. So I've realized something about this game, by the way. I don't see it having much longevity. Because I've realized that there's no real objective. And there's no real purpose to what I'm doing right now. Like, I'm grinding for megas and shit. But for what purpose? To make a good team. Okay. Why are you making a good team? To fight other megas. That's not at all a good plan. Okay, um, to beat the main areas? No. Because that's just not... That's not cool enough. That Those things are kind of lame. You're right. So what am I playing it for? And it just it brought it brought about this very... I don't know. It, it wasn't a good thought to, to myself to think that I don't really have a purpose to play this game. I just kind of play it because I enjoy it. And that's it. It just kind of exists. And in the end, existing is all that matters. Alright, let's go ahead and just punch the Mega in the face. But yeah, I was told that I should just keep on doing this one. Like, this iteration of the event. Because the 10 stamina is the best bet for drops and for existing in the world. And so that's what we're doing. We're existing in the world and spiraling onwards toward the destruction or something. Yeah, everything in my life is kind of starting to get a little bit picky uppy, or everything's starting to get a lot more busy. And it feels weird, man. I'm a very lazy person, and everything kind of hyping up and starting to be cool really puts me off, man. Just just puts me off of everything. I remember um, earlier today, inside uh, my job thing that I go to, well, we, uh, we were talking about it, careers and such, and everyone was like, oh, I know what my career is going to be. I'm going to be a fashion designer. And, I, and then another person was like, I'm going to be a real cool guy and shit. And then the teacher asked me, okay, what do you want to be? I mean, you must have something in mind. And I'm like, um... Prof professional n uh, neat? Haha. <laughs> With, like, a nervous smile, because that's pretty much all I have, honestly. That's not even a fucking job. It's literally a title that says not in job. But... I really don't have any aspirations, and it's really sad, and I'm trying to pick myself up and everything. I don't know, it just feels very real, man. It's kind of that, that point where everything starts to really push forward and push up into what's kind of coming about. It's really strange to think that I'm at that point in my life where I have to actually make decisions and do important things and actually matter. Yeah, it it's weird. I don't like it. I I hate it even. It just feels so not me. Like my character isn't meant to be in this moment at this current time. My character arc hasn't can't come far enough to be able to actually justify being in this part of the arc. If I could just skip back a couple seasons first and then maybe come back to it later. I'd really appreciate it, but I'm not- I'm guessing it's not fucking the Golden Age instead of Berserk. I wouldn't be unable to go ahead and be like, damn, my armor is super good now, and I am cool. And then my- my cast goes ruined. Sadly, no, that's not a thing that can end up happening.
Oh man, we haven't really gotten anything so far, it seems like. Which is fine. That's fine. That's all good. I'll accept that. You you do what you gotta do, video game. But yeah, everything is kinda coming to a head, and it's really really weird. I just I just wanna stream and exist. And that's it. That's all I have in terms of goals. Life goal. Stream. Exist. That's it. God, I'm so tired already. It's not even, like, that late at night, and I'm just so... exhausted. It's like a mosquito came, in, came up to me and was like, Damn, let me go ahead and suck out all of your life force. And I was like, No! And then I negabuzzed. That's a Yokai Watch reference, by the way. And it's just... It just happens. I feel like a stoner right now. Like, I feel like... I'm just a stoner talk super high. <sighs> and it feels weird. Because I'm not... I don't do the drug. Like, if I, did the, if I did the drug, I would be very honest about it. But I am... Unfortunately, a very straight-edge person. Because of, because of my past. My, my dark character development past makes me unable to do the drug. Masaka. Do 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 do. But yeah, that's the kind of thing I avoid. Drinking and smoking and all that shit just really isn't my cup of tea. I mean, I, I respect people that do it cuz that's just that's just their prerogative. They do what they want to do cuz they want to do it and I respect that. I don't even have things I want to do. I just kind of have things that happen in front of me and I'm like, "Oh, okay." I guess that's fine. I don't really have a choice in that, do I? That just happens in front of me. I'm like, damn. And yeah, it just goes. <sighs> but yeah. The whole straight edge thing is kind of weird, and it what it ends up doing is just negating half of the abilities I have in terms of streaming. Because I find drunk streams to be very entertaining myself. To watch someone drink and be like, I'm playing real games with my drunk self. I'm like, damn, you're you're a funny kid. Meanwhile, I'm like someone who refuses to drink and do all that shit. So it's kind of like, oh, so what what am I what am I doing? What am I existing for? What am I planning? And shit just goes and shit just continues. Actually, every morning. Oh, fuck, I'm so tired. Holy shit. Um, every morning, I have to go through a certain path. I'm not going to say what the path is, because otherwise you'll be able to find where my house is. But, um, I have to go through a certain path, and the path is like an hour and a half long to be able to get there. So I'm not that far from my house. Like, if I had a bus that went diagonal from my house to where the location is, it would be like 10 minutes. But from where I, what I have to do is I have to go on a bus away from the location, then, uh, on the subway, away from the location, catch a certain bus that's like the blank blank B, like the second one, not the third, not the, not the first one, an A or a normal. It has to be the B, so I have to wait like half an hour, because it only comes every half an hour for that certain bus. I'm like, damn, okay. Then I wait half an hour, I get on the bus, and then I have to go toward the thing, which takes another 50 minutes or so. Then I arrive there at, like an hour and a half after I left the house, and I'm like, damn, cool, now I get to do great things, and do my shit, but that's every fucking morning, oh, fuck, every morning I have to get up and do an hour and a half of travel, I leave at 8am at this point, which is bad, because I need to render out things at 7am exactly, to be able to actually get, it, get things out on time. Which basically means me having to record at 11 at night instead of my usual 8 o'clock. So it's just kind of... Oh, man. I don't want to get ahead of schedule either, because I want to get input from the comments. Because I actually do have some people that comment some helpful things sometimes. And it's really, really nice to have. And it feels really nice to reference them in the videos. Because I... I don't know. There's a kind of interaction. It feels really good to me. Just the idea that someone's there and listening to my stupid ramblings about everything and how life is going and that shit. 
It just feels really settling. Like, I I have a reason for doing this. That's nice. It's really, really calming. Actually, today's the 13th of April, which means in exactly a month, my one, or no, my like five, yeah, five years on on YouTube happens. Because I started inside um, May 13th, uh, 2011 on another channel for like uh, six months or so, which I'm not showing because that shit was fucking god awful, but it was the prequel to this channel and it was really, really bad. I was a small prepubescent pre pre child before I started this channel, and I sounded like shit. A lot of my videos in my old times have that voice, and it's really annoying. But I don't want to delete it because it's kind of cool to see that kind of growth from that to this. Uh, I don't know. It's weird to see myself go from a child that was very. Like, you can go through my videos one at a time and be like, you went from being a child that was very naive to someone who now hates the world and is like, damn, everything sucks. And it's that transition from happiness to nihilism that's really, it's really nice to kind of watch. It's nice to watch someone slowly fall apart. I know my fetish is mind break. Yours must be too. Yeah. Insert jokes about mind break, because a mind break is the funniest topic of all time. It's the cake, yes, too. Alright, let's go ahead and just take a swing at the buddy. Nope, we got a blue. I kind of want to do the the 30 stamina again, but I know it's going to be a bad plan. Just feel it, you know? Let's go ahead and check how much stamina we have left, because if we have enough for a 30, I want to do that, and I'm going to probably end the episode. Because holy shit, I just want to render this out so I can have it in the morning and then be super, super fucking good. <laughs> See, on one side, I would like to kind of have a break from YouTube, but at the same time, I have no other interests aside from you doing YouTube, and that I, I watch anime so I can reference it in my videos, and I go through certain things on YouTube so I can make more YouTube videos, and I get microphones and all that shit. It's a very important thing to me. And just the idea that of not having it readily at hand and ready to go, and ready to kind of go through, is really off-putting to me. So I gotta just hang in there, man. I also fucking did some good things. I don't remember what good things I did, but I did I did something. I can promise you that. Oh yeah, I got a few new scout things, right? That was a thing that I did. Yeah. I also got this new thing. It was a baby before, but now it's no longer a baby. Is no longer baby child. Now it's just now it's just normal child. I also got the the cling clang and the go go booty mon go go booty and a kill him on which can't kill shit. Even if he wants to kill shit, he just can't, man. It's like Ant Man, but worse, can't man. But um, yeah, let's just go ahead and do the thing one more time, I suppose, because I don't see us doing much else in terms of that. Let's hope we get a metal drop in this one, because if so, then we'd be super good, wouldn't we? Hey, buddy booze, I'm here to kick your butt. Is butt time. You see, that guy's butt was destroyed, as well as his butt, and now another butt's gonna be taken down. If I ever reduce to saying the word butt, you already know that I am out of topics to talk about. Holy shit. It's the fucking worst. 
when I think of the worst stuff I could possibly get, I, I instantly go and think to myself, damn, that's butt. Because I am not, I'm not, I'm not a butt man. Personally, in my own tastes, I'm a chest man. However, I am a flat is justice chest man. You see, there's a very big difference between me and the average boob lover. In this world, we have people on one end of the spectrum who likes the butts. And on the other end, they like the boobs and they like it big. But I'm right there, existing in the middle of both. Where everything flat is everything justice. That is the answer to this world. That's the secret that this world has to offer. Flat is justice. Simple as that. I don't know why I have a thing for flat chests. It just doesn't make sense, really. I guess I have a thing for lolly characters, but that's just... That's just besides the point, man. It's fine. It's just fine. Remember I had, I had a friend who was like, you know, your thing for lollies probably relates back to your shitty daddy kink shit. And I'm like, no, because that, that was a dark part of my past that I'm not going to get into. That's where I'm going to end the episode. Yeah, so I'm going to fucking talk to you next time. Daddy kinks are dead, and so should I be. And so we move on, and so good I be. We hit it up with the... Uh, Ranai B, cause we gon' hit you with that swinging poison ivy. I'm white. <laughs>